sewing lookbook, my three-piece suit, that's coming up. Hello fashion sewers, I'm Colleen G. Lee and welcome to FSB TV. If you're new to your channel, hello, I'm Colleen and if you are interested in fashion sewing and also refashioning old and new clothing, this is a channel for you. Consider subscribing and let's get started. So yeah, my three piece suit that some of you may remember that I designed some time ago, spring, summer. Yeah, we're now in autumn. <laughs> but I can wear this suit now. I, I seriously could. Um, it's warm in the UK at the moment, in England. Um, so yeah, if I had anywhere to go, I would be wearing this. Um, I love it. It really works out really well. Here it all is. It looks really, it's pinstriped. It looks very luminous on the camera, luminous orangey red colour. Oh well, yeah, that's a suit. So we'll just go through a little bit of each section with you. And um, towards the end of the video, I'll do a little modelling kind of thing for you guys. So as I always do. So let's get to the, the jacket first, I think we'll start with. Right. So the jacket is fully lined. And it's a good match actually, it really is a good match to the actual jacket itself. It is looking a little bit, um, from what I can see in the camera, overwhelming the colour. So, but like I said, it is a pinstripe, there's a white stitching stripe going all the way through it. Um, I actually made it without a collar and without the revere. So it's a bit of an experimental jacket, so I did play around with the idea. Of, of, of the style of jacket. I've got some pockets here. Yeah, the, between me and you. They're not real pockets, they're phone pockets. I don't usually do phone pockets, but um, I was in a bit of a, yeah, a rush to get this done um, before, <laughs> before summer was over. But I didn't quite achieve that because it's now autumn. And I've got covered buttons. So yeah, really happy with um, how the jacket turned out. Now, for this, obviously you would have seen this on the thumbnail. Um, it's supposed to be a, a, a waistcoat, so it was a, a lot sh shorter than what it is. So it, it's, a, it's a very long, long um, waistcoat. Some of you may, may call it a vest, I believe. Um, but in England you call it a waistcoat. So it's a very long waistcoat, and you can practically say it's a dress. Would I wear it as a dress? Probably not, no. Um, it has inseam pockets there. And one of the reasons why I decided, because it, it was meant to be just below my waistline, so it would have been there. But because I had, I would have had so much fabric left over, and I'm, I'm, I'm challenging myself to make sure that I use a lot of my large scraps. So, um, you know, I want to do my bit for sustainability and yeah. So it's a very, very long waistcoat with a with size seam pockets, but technically it's a dress. Um, but yes, this is also lined as well. So I've lined that. And I also did some pants as well. So it's, there's no waistband. So it's faced and it is slightly flared as you get down to the hemline. So yeah, and I've got the zip at the front and that's it. One more thing I did make though was the um, clutch bag because like I said, I had a lot of fabric left over. I kind of, I always knew I was gonna make a, um, make a clutch bag to go with this anyway because I do like to make bags with um, outfits I think I want to go over the top with. So I knew I was gonna wait a clutch bag for this. Um, but as for the waistcoat dress, um, like I said, I didn't want any leftover large pieces of fabrics. So let me just get my um, clutch bag for you. So 
here it is, my clutch bag. And I've got a little handle here. So yeah, just, just an ordinary clutch. I did zippers. I've got two zips or zippers on either side. But um, yeah, I've got white lining. Yeah, <laughs> I ran out of red lining just about enough to do the um the dress so yeah i ran out of lining so but no it's white and i've got white stripes within the fabric so that's totally fine when you make your own clothes you can do what you wish so i'm really happy with that i think i'm gonna put some tassels on that though um i have got little tiny scraps left over so yeah i'll definitely do some little tassels to go with that um when, when i've got when I've got time. <laughs> um, so if I'm actually going anywhere, this is this is what will probably happen is that when I'm going somewhere in this suit, then the night before I'll end up making tassels. So it may be a few weeks from now, between me and you, probably 2019, spring, summer, um, is when I'll probably make the tassels for, um, for this bag because I've got other projects that I need to be getting on with. So that's it. So coming up now is going to be a little segment where I will be modeling this so you can see how it falls on my body. That's coming up now. that little section and hope you enjoy me going through my sewing project for spring summer even though it's autumn uh, so yeah if you enjoy that give it a thumbs up do share and if you're new to the channel do subscribe and also don't forget to hit the bell so that you receive notifications and do visit the community tab yeah do visit the community tab because I want to post there a lot more often so if you have any comments please put them in the comment box below and I will see you next time